Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video. And guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove the clicker system in a Bass Pro Shops Cat Max bait casting reel. And I'm going to tell you the situations in which you might want to remove it. So let's get started. Alright guys, like I was saying, in this week's video I'm going to show you how to disable the clicker system at a Bass Pro Shops Cat Max Reel. Now if you fish with clickers on a regular basis, there's really no reason for you to disable the clicker in your reel. I'm not a big fan of the clicker on these Bass Pro Cat Maxes, even though I am a big fan of the reels themselves. And I'm going to tell you my biggest problem with these Cat Max reels is the location of their clicker switch. It's right there on the lower left corner of the reel, just below the spool release. And what tends to happen is if you put your rod too far back in your rod holder, the rod holder will butt up against that, somehow get that switch activated. And then when you go to make a cast or reel it in, the clicker's on. My other problem with it is just by that location and when I, the way I hold a reel whenever I'm making a cast, a lot of the time, the webbing between my thumb and my index finger will push that on. You go to make a cast, suddenly your line screaming out there with the clicker howling at you and you only get about half the distance that uh, you normally would. So let's go ahead and go over to the workbench. I've got everything set up. We'll get this clicker system disabled in this CatMax reel and we'll be ready to go. Step one, loosen the thumb screws. Remove the right side plate and the spool. Step two, remove the two screws securing the magnetic anti-backlash. Remove the anti-backlash plate. Step three, remove the two screws securing the left side plate to the real body. Remove the left side plate. Step four, locate the clicker assembly. It is held on by one screw and two springs. Remove the screw and slide the springs off of the retainers to remove the clicker assembly. Step five, replace the screw removed during step four. Step six, reverse the disassembly instructions and reassemble the reel. Step seven, Label the assembly and store it in a safe location. All right, guys, now that we've got our reel put back together, we now have a Bass Pro Cat Max reel that even if this little switch happens to get bumped, there's no more clicks. So, guys, I hope this video has helped you out. I hope it explained why that I disable these clickers in these baitcaster reels. And if this video has helped you out, please take a moment, give it that thumbs up button. If you're new to my channel, check it me out for the first time. Guys, I do a video like this every week. It covers a fishing or boating related topic. It's called Short Tip Saturday. If you like that, hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it. That way you get a notification every time a new video comes out or I go live. I'm going to get everything done, get this thing put on a rod, get some line put on it, start using it. So guys, take care. Until next time. We'll catch you out on the water.